Hi, my name is Vincent Creelan and uh, back in 2003, I set up the, as it was then, the Gay Police Association within the PSNI. I, at that time, was the only member of the GPA, which was a, a national organisation. Um, I'm aware now it's now more of a, an LGBTQ um, network. Uh, I joined the police back in the early 80s and um, became very aware during my service that there were a lot of issues in relation to many things that deal, deal with difference within the police service. But one of those was being, I'll use that broad term, gay. Uh, I heard lots of very negative stuff and I s experienced a lot of that um, on a daily pattern in my own life within the police service. But I think the the catalyst that really drove me to a come out at work and to help set up the network. And the GPA is, is about three things, just to remind ourselves. It then was about um, supporting LGBT staff, gay staff in the police service, whether they're police officers or whether they were civilians. It was about fostering a, a positive work environment within the police service. And as important of all for me, it was about fostering a better connectivity, a positive relationship, a positive attitude and reception on the part of the gay community and the some of the organisations that would maybe represent them um, and the police service for Northern Ireland. But the catalyst for it was the death of a young police officer called Darren Bradshaw. Uh, he was in training at the time. Uh, he was uh, suspended by the police wrongfully uh, and a lot of that was to do with him being gay and socialising with gay people and um, people who were trading his good name uh, to protect themselves. But he was shot dead, he was murdered by the INLA in what was then the Parliament Bar, well-known um, queer bar in the city centre of Belfast. And how Darren had been treated as a young constable in training and how he had been treated when he was suspended and some of the comments I heard right at the very top uh, within the police service up to the, the person who was going to be essentially sacking him, the assistant chief constable, um, for me was intolerable. And I decided that some kind, there had to be some kind of legacy for Darren and for his mum, Pauline. Something had to come out of it that was good. Not that this sort of thing could never happen again, but that something would be in place to, to help it not happen again. Not his murder, but how he was treated, how he felt about himself, how, how isolated he felt within the police and then once he was um, once he was uh, on a period of suspension. And um, I think that's happened. As a consequence of that, um, I emailed 11,000 people in the police service and I got quite a lot of negative responses to that. And I think that's changed over the years with each new person who's taken over the, the mantle and, uh, and been out there public face of the GPA or of the network. Um, there's been less and less negative stuff, but there's still always a battle on with the, the service and with the higher ranks and with the culture within the police service. And it's gone on from a time when we were allowed to walk in pride with just, you know, T-shirts on. Uh, and we got, you know, the police and the policing board and um, the uh, ombudsman's office involved in pride and donated money to pride. To now, as you probably know, people led, I suppose, by the committee and, and Paul Blimmer in particular, uh, marching in uniform in the Pride Parade for two years and also marching down in Dublin and being involved in so many other initiatives. And, and that were being recognised in a whole number of different ways. And that's fantastic. And I believe that is, for me personally, a legacy, um, a, a body of work. Something has happened. I'm not saying there have been setbacks and there have over the years, uh, and there's no need to go into those now, but the, the the movement has generally been forward. And I I would like to think that Darren Bradshaw and his mother, if she's still alive now, Pauline has passed, will look at what's happening between the community, the gay community and the police service for the so many out gay members of staff in the police service. And maybe have a wee smile and say, okay, Darren's death brought some good, you know, help people to be themselves, um, help to show that uh, an organisation, despite still having problematic issues and problematic perceptions and attitudes, that uh, the the scores and scores and scores of out gay staff within the organisation and those that continue to join it um, and work with the community and work for a better environment within the police service is a marvellous achievement. And that's Darren Bradshaw's legacy. Thank you.